Diane Keaton was so fantastic in uh, It's Something's Gotta Give, which I told you I've seen a million times. Are you guys good friends in real life? We are. I spoke to her today. How's no. she doing? You know, um, she's doing fine. Um, like all of us, she's moved and, and sad. She's sad about what's going on on the planet, you know. Um, but she's a very uh, proactive human. Uh, she's the kind of person that calls me at least every, every other day, if not every day. Like, she's just very proactive. She calls, she communicates, she checks in, she answers emails, and she's got projects at her house. And like I said, what are you doing today? Oh, I have this project, this thing, you know, and she's, she's always, you know, she's written a lot of books. The whole time I did Baby Room with her is when I met her in 1987. Oh, I love that movie, too. Thank you. And when I and when I met her, I was reminding her today that um, when I went in the trailer to talk to her in the morning, she'd be um, ripping out pages out of magazines, and she just collects. She has a lot of collections of things. You know, I took a, a ride with her once on a plane, a regular commercial airplane, and she opens up this gigantic bag and pulls out a coffee table book to read. You know, <laughs> you know, like you think. I think I'll take the lightest thing I have to this gigantic thing to pick up the entire seat. <laughs> <laughs> she, she is so funny and someone said how how what great style diane keaton has amazing she is, she's sort of kind of she's so cool yeah. and she it looks like she she always looks so great and she always looks that way i mean i see right? her a lot she all we did yoga together for a while and she came dressed like she dresses she would take that stuff off and under it would be you know yoga clothes but then they all came back <laughs> what about Meryl Streep? And it, are, somebody asked if there are other actresses you'd like to work with. Well, um, yes. I like, truthfully, um, I have nothing but warm feelings for all the, because they, they're like a part of me, you know? They play these characters that I made up and they, they become them. And then so there's kind of like a, it's like a sister feeling that I have towards them. Meryl's obviously brilliant and surprising and inventive she's very inventive that's for sure you know working with her and so smart so i remember sometimes thinking oh you know it'd be a good idea and just as i'm about to say it on the next take she just does it not that she's smart because she had my idea that's what it sounds like but i mean <laughs> he can no but she can get outside of it and see it and make adjustments but do you stay okay. in touch with Lindsay lohan at all nancy um, not really. Um, oh my God, I, she was so cute in The Parent I, Trap. Uh, on Instagram, sometimes we'll write to each other, and uh, she was a great little girl. She was wonderful in the movie. Um, I loved her. I really loved her, and I, I know she's doing well, and she's got a new life, and I'm happy for her. Lindsay Lohan is on. Oh my God, that is so funny. Well, uh, hi, funny. Lindsay. Okay, talk to Lindsay. She's on. She can't talk to us. I wish she could join us, but we can't have a threesome. We can't be a thruple here. But why don't you talk to why don't you talk to Lindsay? Why don't you send her a message, Nancy? Uh, there she is. She said, "Add oh. me." Okay. I, uh, oh, what is she asking? I'm home. I don't know how to reach her at home. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, my message is that uh, she's a fantastic actress. I owe her a lot. She was. She was a lucky charm for me. And I love her and I wish her well. She says, Nancy is the best. I'm just reading her comments to you. Uh, she's type faster, Lindsay. I remember when I stayed with Nancy and Hallie and Annie, and I used to beg Nance to have barbecue. <laughs> okay. I don't remember. Do you remember that? Seems like an easy one to give. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, Lindsay yeah, she Lohan came, she stayed with us. I think when she was testing for Freaky Friday or auditioning for it or something, she came and stayed for a couple of weeks with us. Oh, she, that's fun. Okay, Lindsay has Nancy was a mother to me. Lindsay, oh, that's so okay. nice. It's a lot of people are talking about Natasha Richardson, who I knew as well because she, was um, she that was so heartbreaking, wasn't Heart it? Heartbreaking, heartbreaking. You know, when I went, when we were making Parent Trap and we uh, 
the whole crew moved to England to make the movie, when I got to the house that I had rented, there was a binder there that she made, a little notebook, and every page was, it, she found out where I was saying, and it was, this is the best butcher in your neighborhood, this is the dry cleaner, if you need to get a haircut, you know, and she just made this book for me of how to live in the neighborhood that I am. She was so sweet. Oh, Ina's on. I, I love Ina. Ina is on. Ina She's is on with us. So. By the way, um, Nancy, someone's suggesting you can do a movie about <laughs> Ina and Jeffrey. Well, it's the greatest love story. I mean, a movie has to have drama. <laughs> they adore each other. They do, but maybe, I don't know, maybe you could throw something crazy in. Let's see if she says anything. <laughs> Ina, what do you think? She's probably cooking up something incredible for Jeffrey. She probably left us a while ago, but we can we can talk to her about it on the DL. Okay. So people from Argentina, oh, Ina just said no. <laughs> N-O, exclamation, exclamation mark. All right, so some movies I, I love that I think are great movies to escape into. Do you want to hear them? Of course. Oh, okay. The Birdcage, which I love. Oh, I love that too. It's just so funny. It's just so funny. It's Mike Nichols. It's Elaine May. Nathan Lane. It's just Robin Williams. It, to me, it's a hilarious movie from beginning to end. Okay, that's good. I love His Girl Friday, which I've seen a gazillion times. And I'm sure you have too. It's your life, right? Yeah, that is, that's Cary Grant and Catherine Hepburn, right? Yeah. No, it's Rosalind no. Russell. I was going to say Rosalind Russell. That's right. I haven't seen that in so long. That's worth another look. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. She's about to go off and marry the wrong guy, of course. When the story comes in, she flips up her hat, sits at the typewriter. I mean, it's, for girls like us, it's, it's, it's a great movie. Okay. I love the Philadelphia story. It's one of my yeah. favorite, favorite movies. Because that, it, it's so smart, that movie, because it happens over like two or three days. She's going to marry one guy, falls in love with another, and gets back together with her husband all in two days. So it's like brilliantly constructed. Okay. All right. Okay. I love Heaven Can Wait, Warren Beatty. Oh, is that with Julie Christie? Yes. Julie Christie, Goldie Hawn, Lee Graham. It, is that? Oh, no. I'm, I'm getting that confused with shampoo. Um, oh, I got it confused. That was shampoo. I have shampoo here, too. You're okay. right. Sorry. It is Julie Christie, though. It is Julie Okay. Christie. Who was it's so beautiful. Charming and funny movie. Shampoo was great. Young Frankenstein, can't lose. I That's think with Terry of... Garr, right? Wasn't Terry Garr and yeah. Phyllis and, and Cloris Leachman? <laughs> You're thinking of Phyllis from Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, sorry, Cloris. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yes, it is, right. And Gene Wilder, he's a genius. The Apartment. I just have a couple more. Wait, that's Jack Lemmon and Shirley MacLaine? That's a perfect movie in every way. Everything Why? Else is perfect. Great performances, brilliant writing, complex characters. It's a drama. It's a comedy. Oh, everyone's also asking if you can finish your your uh, movie list, Nancy. Oh, okay. The Billy Wilder movies, The Apartment, which we talked about, Love in the Afternoon, and Sabrina are my favorites. If you guys like what you see, subscribe right here.